And Moon Jae-in's five-year term will start without a transition period. He will be sworn into office immediately after the National Election Commission confirms his victory in meeting later this morning. Nuaram has the details. This year's election was originally scheduled to be held in mid-December, after which the newly elected president would have created a transition team to facilitate the eventual handover of power. The inauguration would have been scheduled for February with a large ceremony at the National Assembly with honorary guests among the attendees. However, with Moon Jae-in being elected in the country's first early presidential vote, he does not have this luxury and will take the helm as soon as the NEC confirms his victory. The election watchdog was scheduled to hold a meeting sometime this morning, and once the gavel is struck, Moon will begin his five-year term as Korea's new president. Moon's first role as president will be to pay his respects at the Seoul National Cemetery at around 10 a.m. At noon, he will take the oath of office at the National Assembly with a small and brief inauguration ceremony. He will also be handed control of the country's military and will be briefed on national security, including North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. The president-elect will then have to quickly choose his advisers and cabinet members. He will likely start off with those who do not need parliamentary approval, such as a civil affairs secretary, a national security chief and a Chongades spokesman, as well as ministers to run government bodies. Moon's full cabinet is expected to take about one or two months to fill, as positions such as prime minister need legislative confirmation. Nuaram Arirang News.